The reality behind why young Sheldon had to end is clearly shown by the presence of Georgie and Mandy's first marriage. Despite its success, the Big Bang Theory franchise continues with the most recent episode of the ever-evolving TV series, months after young Sheldon was terminated. The plot of Georgie and Mandy's first marriage centers on the lives of Montana Jordan and Emily Osmond, who are raising baby Cece. It picks up in Texas a few months after Sheldon moved to California, continuing the Cooper's tale. But it has always been obvious that if young Sheldon was still on, the spin-off would not take place. Young Sheldon's cancellation, in contrast to most others, wasn't due to low viewer interest. Rather, it was purportedly caused by the canon of the Big Bang Theory, which stipulated that at the age of 14, Sheldon would complete his undergraduate education and relocate to California to pursue postgraduate studies at Caltech. Chuck Lorre and his team chose to maintain this particular component of continuity in spite of pleas to ignore it in order to allow the prequel to proceed, despite the numerous contradictions between the projects. Nevertheless, fresh details regarding Georgie and Mandy's first marriage point to a more severe explanation for young Sheldon's breakup. Steve Holland, the showrunner of Georgie and Mandy's first marriage, lists the ways in which the new program differs from the earlier installments in the franchise. He also makes the case for why, in his opinion, it is more relatable than the Big Bang Theory in Young Sheldon. The main reason for this is that Sheldon is no longer the focus of Georgie and Mandy's first marriage. The guy was interesting and entertaining, no doubt, but everything about him was exaggerated. That's part of his allure, but it was time for a shift after nearly 20 years of ruling the TV world. Young Sheldon may have been continued if Laurie and his group had wished to. The family comedy drama already had a fan base that was more interested in it than in its ties to the Big Bang Theory. It might have developed into an alternative universe based on the experiences that Jim Parsons Sheldon had in the main series. But instead of continuing with the character, they decided to take a major chance and start a new program, Georgie and Mandy's first marriage. Sheldon's tenure on television came to an end with young Sheldon's conclusion. Even though it was heartbreaking, the universe of the Big Bang Theory needed to move past the quirky genius. First off, following his brief appearance in the send-off flash-forward for the prequel, Parsons has no intention of returning to the character. In the meantime, Sheldon's early years at Caltech are not worth discussing without Leonard and the other Pasadena gang members. For this reason, the greatest method to guarantee the viability of the universe in the future is to go beyond the character. It's true that Mandy and Georgie leading a new program is a huge risk. Nonetheless, Georgie and Mandy's first marriage has a strong possibility of being another smash if it takes more of an emphasis on the family-focused narrative of young Sheldon's latter years. From that point on, the Big Bang Theory franchise can move on with more daring spin-offs that tell other kinds of stories.